Hello, Shalom, Ola. Um, this is a uh, new. This is brand new for me to do. I'm recording uh, some information tonight for the spiritual life. Um, this is going to be episode double O zero dash one. This is out of sequence with the other episodes that I've written for this podcast, simply because um, a lot of things happening in life right now. Big thing, we got election fraud all around us in this crazy country. The big thing is COVID-19. And back in March, I made predictions uh, when we closed down. A lot of my clients called me because this is what I do do, you know. Um, and I did a reading on it and I you know, predicted that we'd come back to semi-normal in June. There'd be some issues in August, which there were, and I predict that it would come back this fall with a vengeance, and it is. And I predict these things. People know that. I'm not making this up. You know, I do this for 31 years now. Um, so I did another reading tonight just to kind of feel out, um, you know, uh, what, where we're going from here. You know, now that my other predictions have come true, excuse me, um, we can now, uh, you know, look at these other issues. And to see what's going on now. Uh, first of all, you know, uh, I, I feel there's five companies, drug companies right now, working to make a vaccine. Five. I could be wrong. And no psychics, 100. percent Today is 11 20 2020, uh, and I'm finally getting around this. Well, actually, a good friend of mine motivated me to get it done tonight because she's anxious to get the information. And uh, I've had every channel as you could think to get this done tonight, you know, in the physical world as well as the emotional. But I'm here, so hopefully everything, I've grounded myself, cleansed myself, uh, got the sage here, you know. When in doubt, sage it out, you know. <laughs> and uh, that's what I did. Um, and some good frankincense on my, on my altar in the living room. But, uh, yeah, there's a lot of competition for this virus uh, cure. And obviously it's for money. Sure, they want to do uh, humanity a favor, these companies do. I think it's funny that uh, they think that they can just brush this through the FDA uh, like an emergency. I mean, yeah, I understand it is an emergency, unless I'm going to stage you while we're talking. Um, but we also have to think about the safety. There's a lot of cautions about this first uh, vaccine that's coming up. And this virus is, is back with a vengeance, and it's, it's going to be even worse next month. December looks bleak. The winter solstice looks bleak, to be very honest with you. There's going to be some kind of a, uh, possibly a woman doctor or some information coming out that, you know, they're going to be over speculating and, you know, they might feel at some point uh, that, um, you know, um, they've spent too much money because, you know, the government has to buy these vaccines. So I, I kind of feel the government's overspending the, their first vaccine. Like I said, I'm not buying it. Um, you know, there's a second vaccine coming. It will happen by February, February, March time frame. Um, and, uh, and I could be wrong. This is all happening between now and the next 90 days. Um, but the next event coming up here, yeah, we're feeling like it's getting worse. And, and like I said, December doesn't look good. That's the winter solstice. Um, I would hate to think that, again, we're going to be offered some kind of other vaccine that's not going to work and we're going to say no to it. Or, you know, there's a lot of cautions. And a lot of this is because of the Trump administration. You know, uh, this guy's a fool. You know, if they would have put a mask on in January rather than calling it a... But anyway, moving right along. Um, but back to the COVID, yeah. So I do see, uh, like I said, some problems coming up. It's going to get worse. Um and I really don't feel that they're going to have a grip on this vaccine probably till uh, another vaccine till February, March. So we shall see how accurate I am on that one. Um, I don't see, I, I asked how long or when, I, you know, I have a question on that. And I feel that, well, we should be done with this thing by next June. You know, five to, five to seven months from now, actually. So once they do get a vaccine, they're probably going to have more than one. Like I said, I see five companies ready to, but there's one who stepped out first. Everybody's trying to get in the same direction here, but they're all using different methods to get there, you know, so it's kind of crazy. Um, 
but there is going to be a money issue. There's going to be some, some people who are going to get credit for this coming up here. I see it to be a man and a woman. Um, maybe that's Joe Biden and Kamala Harris when it's all said and done. Uh, I feel that, uh, you know, whoever's taking credit for it, I mean, we, the way this thing is attacking the world, and that's why we have all these different companies working for a vaccine. It's not so much that we got one man in office who's saying, yeah, you know, I got the, it, the, the whole world needs this thing. It's not just America. And, um, and so, like I said, it, it'll get better uh, after February, March. Uh, we'll, we'll definitely see daylight. I feel once they get this vaccine out this next year, uh, by summer, we should be back to normal. And that would be fantastic. Uh, that would put us about, what, a year and a half mark, something like that with this thing. So I'm hoping tonight that's true. Um, yeah, there could even be some deaths from this first vaccine coming out. We'll see how that works. I don't think they've done enough trial, to be very honest with you on that one. Um, and we're going to see a big improvement in March, April. And like I said, in June, we should be back to normal. Uh, this is the mystic Reverend Travis Tidwell here, Sacred Dragon in the house. Uh, I'm just, this first time I'm using my computer at home, uh, videotaping it here and hopefully I'm going to download it on YouTube. It won't be on my podcast, uh, but it will be on YouTube. Like I said, this is going to be episode 007-1 since I'm like a secret agent here, you know, uh, representing that West Coast magic. And, uh, Wishing everybody in the United States, as well as on planet Earth, peace and love and, and abundance and good fortune and healing, which we all need. I'm hoping for a better 2021. I'll be making some predictions on that next month and posting them on the podcast, as well as on YouTube. Um, and uh, we'll go from there. 